All right, Matt. Well, here in the U.S., more people are dying from drug overdoses than ever before. Data from the CDC paints a dire picture touching every part of the country. 25 News reporter Andrew Lomparski has more on what's being done here in Central Texas. 100,000. It's a record-breaking number, but Central Texas Harm Reduction founder Richard Bradshaw says he's not surprised. Our treatment system in the United States has done nothing meaningful to adjust the way it provides treatment uh, to the elevated risk of fentanyl being present in our drug supply. An overdose survivor himself, he sees a system failing to bring desperately needed resources to users. There would have to be drastic changes that, that would have to take place for us to do anything to significantly impact uh, the, the overdose crisis. The trend is happening here in McLennan County. Heart of Texas MHMR Substance Abuse Program Director Laura Weaver says the need for help is higher than ever. It's really hard for people to cope when a situation like nobody expected came along and put everybody in their homes alone or out of work. The vast majority of overdose deaths, roughly 70 percent, are linked to opioids, particularly fentanyl. Or they may cut a drug, another drug like methamphetamines with it, and people don't realize it till they used it and then are overdosing on it. While the numbers paint a dark picture, there are tools to keep people out of the ER and to save lives. From Narcan, administered in a timely fashion, it will reverse an overdose, to fentanyl test strips, and then you have results within a minute. Bradshaw says if these tools were available to him during his struggle, it would have broken down the barrier of shame and stigma that kept me from accepting help. Tools that Bradshaw and Weaver hope keep us from having another record-breaking year. In Waco, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News.